Have you ever wondered what the difference is between meditation and guided visualization, or are they actually the same thing? And if there is a difference between the two, then when should you do meditation and when should you do guided visualizations? I'm gonna be answering those questions in this video, so stay tuned. Hi there, I'm Lisa Ingalls Witter and welcome to my channel where I help spiritual seekers just like you to get non-New Agey answers to deep spiritual questions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also click on the notifications icon. I put out new videos every week. All right, so let's dive into this video where we're going to look at the difference between meditation and guided visualization. Now, since 2015, there have been over 2,500 meditation apps that have been launched. That's quite a few <laughs> meditation apps. And the number of meditation searches on Google has increased 65%. So meditation is a big thing. But it's not just apps. Guided meditations, meditations, guided visualizations, they're showing up everywhere. They're taught in courses, they're taught in yoga class, they're taught in online challenges. Uh, maybe you've done the Deepak Chopra and Oprah Winfrey 21 day meditation challenge, which is a total, uh, doesn't make sense to me to do a meditation challenge, but uh, there you have it. So there's all of these meditation um, opportunities online right now. You can also find hundreds of guided meditations right here on YouTube. But there seems to be this confusion about the difference between what is meditation and what is guided visualization. And it comes from not having a clear understanding of what meditation actually is and what guided visualization is. So we need to ask ourselves before we begin this discussion, what's the purpose anyways? What's the purpose of meditation? What's the purpose of visualization? And why am I doing it? What is the result that I'm looking for? And then we need to ask ourselves, is this the right practice for me to attain the goal that I want to attain? So what I want to do is break this down by looking first at this uh, uh, term meditation and then at the term guided visualization. So when we're speaking of meditation, the way I see it is that there's sort of these two categories meditation can be put into. Meditation as a spiritual practice or meditation as a personal growth, health, and wellness practice. Let's look first at meditation as a spiritual practice. So one of my teachers uh, said, and I thought this was a really, really great definition of meditation. He said that meditation isn't something, isn't only something that we do. It's also a state of consciousness that we attain through doing the technique of meditation. And the goal of meditation as a spiritual practice, especially if we're looking at it from the perspective or from the view of yoga philosophy, is to attain oneness with the divine, to attain unity consciousness. Now this can be done in a variety of different ways and a bunch of techniques are used um, in meditation including uh, breath work or pranayama, concentration techniques, uh, witnessing of our thoughts and our feelings, or sometimes it's called mindfulness, right? It may also include visualization. In certain spiritual traditions, there is a type of visualization that you use in uh, spirit, the spiritual practice of meditation as well. Now, we can also look at meditation from the perspective of personal growth or health and wellness. And I think that this is the big category that everybody is really moving towards these days. There are more people using meditation as a tool, as a practice to achieve better health, to, um, to attain some level of personal growth as well. And at this level, you don't have to believe in, you don't have to belong to a religion, you don't have to believe in God in order to meditate and get the benefits 
from meditation as a, a practice to help your overall health and well-being. And the goal of meditation from a health and wellness perspective is really just to improve our mental, emotional, and even our physical health. We use it to reduce stress and anxiety. I think that's the biggest thing that um, meditation is used for in this realm is to reduce stress and anxiety. But we can also use it to control the physiological processes of the body. We can also use it to control our mind. And in this realm of health and well-being, um, meditation, the most popular type of meditation is mindfulness meditation, which is actually borrowed from Buddhism. So a, a spiritual practice has been made into a type of health and well-being practice, which is completely appropriate and good if that is your goal, right? So meditation, when used in the health and wellness format or in this realm, it doesn't have the goal of attaining a certain state of consciousness or attaining a union with the divine. So let's turn our attention to the distinction between visualization and guided visualization in meditation because <laughs> it can get quite confusing out there. I was looking through YouTube and there's uh, some of the YouTube videos actually say guided visualization meditation and it's just it's everything all sort of plopped into one thing. So let's make this distinction. Visualization can and is used in traditional spiritual meditation, as I just mentioned um, previously. And it's used in spiritual, uh, the practice of spiritual meditation or meditation as a spiritual practice in order to help um, the practitioner to deepen their meditative state. So there might be visualization of perhaps a deity or vi visualization of certain colors or light, a, a light within the body. And again, this is very different now than the other type of visualiz visualization that we often hear or see out there, which is a guided visualization. And this is, again, another thing altogether. So I think these distinctions are really important, especially when we're looking at what our goal is. So guided visualization is sometimes sold as meditation, but again, meditation is like this word that who knows what it means unless we give a definition to it. So um, there are a lot of apps out there that are, um, or meditations that you'll find online that are actually guided visualizations, not meditations. So. When you're doing a guided visualization, the way I make that distinction is it's usually some type of guided journey to meet perhaps an angelic guide or to connect with a higher aspect of yourself or to cultivate certain aspects of yourself. Maybe it's to cultivate psychic powers or to manifest something in your life. Or I think back when I started doing guided visualizations all the way back when uh, in the 80s when I was in high school as a runner and I used guided visualizations to help me improve my performance as a runner. So oftentimes um, guided or guided visualizations will be passed off as meditations, um, but really it's just <laughs> a guided visualization to improve something like a skill, whether it's playing the piano, running faster, uh, getting better at golf or losing weight, all of these things are guided visualizations. And often these guided visualizations, the basis of them is um, a hypnosis script. So um, they will use some form of induction, hypnotic induction to get you into a trance state in order to increase your suggestibility to whatever it is that um, is the goal of the guided visualization. So I wanna just do a quick recap of what I've just discussed here. Meditation is used both as a spiritual practice and a, a health and well-being practice. So you wanna make that distinction. Are you, look, are you 
going for a spiritual practice or are you going for a health and well-being practice? If you're going for um, meditation as a spiritual practice, we can further define meditation not only as a practice that you do, something that you do, but a state of consciousness that you attain. Now the difference between visualization and guided visualization is that visualization is something that is used in meditation to deepen a felt or sensed experience. And visualization is often used in uh, meditation as a spiritual practice. Now we also have guided meditation, which is not meditation as we've defined it here. It often uses suggestion hypnosis uh, techniques in order to achieve a certain goal like manifesting something or overcoming challenges or peak performance in sport. So that's a little recap of what we've discussed. So it's time for question of the day. What insights or ahas did you have about this distinction between meditation and guided visualization. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Namaste.